Hello Gillsborough and welcome to our Friday Celebration Worship Assembly. The candle is lit because Jesus is the light of the world and God is all around us. Okay, time for our values and like I say every week we've seen so many different values. We're really, really proud of you all. But these are the children that the teachers have really noticed this week. So, Mrs Cox, Mrs Shields and Mrs Price have all decided to give their value certificate for the value of enjoyment. And they have given their value certificate to Charlie. Well done, Charlie. Now, what the teachers have said, it's for having lots of wonderful and creative ideas. And Charlie, apparently, you join in happily with everything. And always try your hardest. Very well done, Charlie. Good, good boy. Okay, class two, Mrs Wood and Miss Llewellyn have decided to give their value certificate for the value of happiness, which I see lots of at our school. But they have decided to give it to Emily. Well done, Emily. And I could not agree more. I see Emily all the time with a big smile on her face. And actually it's infectious, Emily, because when you smile, everybody around you smiles as well. Now, Miss Llewellyn and Miss Wood have said for being a good friend to everyone and bringing sunshine to class two with her smile. Well done, Emily. We're really proud of you. Okay, Mrs Holcomb, for class three, four, has decided to give her value certificate to someone for politeness. And again, I could not agree more. And this goes to Reggie. Well done, Reggie. Now, Mrs Holcomb has said that by having lovely manners and always offering to help around the classroom, Reggie is such a polite boy. Absolutely. Well done, Reggie. We are very, very proud of you. Now, Mr Fletcher has decided to give his value certificate for value of perseverance. And he has said that this person has tried really, really hard in their maths this week. And it goes to Serena. Well done, Serena. You keep persevering. You will get really far, Serena. Good, good girl. Now, Mrs Mills has decided to give her value certificate for the value of cooperation. And she's given it to Olive. Well done, Olive. And what Mrs Mills has said is for always working well and carefully with any group and for being a fantastic, positive influence in Class 6. I am really proud of you, Olive, and I'm really proud of every single one of you. Let's give them a big, big clap. Okay, even though our house points were announced last week, I still have two children who have achieved their gold house point badge. And these two children are in reception year one. And it goes to Poppy and Arlo. Well done, both of you, for getting your gold badge. That means that you have got 150 points for your house teams. Well done, both of you. Give them a big, big clap. Now, Mr Fletcher has awarded a pen licence and he's really proud to give this pen licence to Vince. Well done, Vince. Keep up that super, super neat writing. Can we give Vince a big, big clap? Now, because we don't just celebrate the achievements that children have in school, we also celebrate what's happening outside of school. Now, I have a short video here of a child at our school who I am very, very proud of because they have done so well with their cricket and rugby. So have a listen. Now, we all know that Harry in year six is a brilliant sportsman. But this summer, we need to celebrate not one, but two huge achievements that Harry has done. 
Now, the first achievement is that Harry has been chosen for the under-11 county cricket team. There were only 24 players chosen for this. So he has represented our county in a cricket tournament. So well done, Harry, for that. But also, Harry plays for Market Harbour Rugby Club. Now, Market Harbour Rugby Club got to the final of the Tigers Primer Cup at the Leicester City Tigers ground. Now, they won 5-4. What a huge achievement. So well done, Harry. I know that Market Harbour Rugby Club also say that Harry is a credit to his team. So well done, Harry. We're really, really proud of you. Can we give Harry a huge, huge applause? And Harry, really, really proud of you. Now, yesterday, our winners of our house points, which was Air, went out to the park for their house point treat. Now, they went with Mrs Price and apparently had a wonderful, wonderful time. So, well done Air for winning, but I have to show you now all of the things that they got up to when they were out with Mrs Price at the park. Looks like you had so much fun. Well done, Air. It's now time for our Bible story. And the Bible story today is from the New Testament and it's called New World. Listen carefully. A new world. One day I will come back. We will all be together again, Jesus told his special friends before he went home to God. That was a promise for all his friends. One day, someday... Now John was on prison island. The friends of Jesus were in trouble. Trouble? Trouble? Will it never end? Why doesn't Jesus come back? They said. But God knew all about their trouble. He sent one of his angels to John. Come with me, the angel said. I have something to show you. What he saw was so exciting. John wrote at once to all the friends of Jesus. It's going to be all right, John said. God is making everything new again. He shows me his wonderful new world. One day, someday, we will all share it. God will wipe away our tears. No one will die anymore. No one will be hurt. I saw a beautiful shining city, the city where God is. It's never dark in that city. It shines all the time with God's light. Nothing that's nasty or bad can ever come there. But God's friends can go in and out and enjoy it forever. God and his people together as Jesus promised, just as it was when the world began. 
I'm going to hand over to Katie now because it is our reflection time. If you would like to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end. Loving Heavenly Father, who takes care of us all, we thank you for walking beside us throughout the last school year. Bless all those in our school community who have taught, supported and cared for us. Forgive, forgive us for the times when we have taken for granted the many blessings we have received. Protect us now as we go our, way, our different ways and bring us refreshed and renewed to the beginning of the next school year. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Katie. We're now at the end of our assembly and I'm going to finish off with Reverend Nat. So please sing, join in the actions. I'd like to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend and say the Lord be with you. God bless everybody. I'm looking forward to our last week together next week. Anyway, Reverend Nat, take it away. We're going to find some space now and we're going to sing our action song. So let's stand together as we sing, Be Bold, Be Strong. <laughs>